says, while praying in an earthquake, uh, while praying, if an earthquake takes place, are we supposed to keep praying? If they die, will they, would it be considered a suicide? And he talks about a video of people continuing to pray while uh, undergoing an earthquake. And people say that this is a good ending if a person were to die. First of all, Islam concentrates on protecting the five essential things and life is one of them. So your religion, your honor, your sanity, your wealth, these are part of the things that Islam protects. And everything in this religion revolves around protecting these essentials. So protecting your life is an essential part of Islam. This is why if you're starving and about to die and find nothing to save you except to eat a dead meat or pork or haram flesh, this is permissible to protect yourself, to preserve your life. So if a catastrophe, an earthquake, a natural disaster takes place, it is permissible for you in this case to postpone, delay, or even skip prayer in order to save your life. And hypothetically, it, yeah, and the, the, the people sometimes joke about this. And they say, Sheikh, if I was praying and a lion charges at me to attack me, should I trust Allah and continue to pray or should I run? And the Sheikh says, if your wudu is intact, if you're still in the state of wudu, continue to pray. And this is a joke because no, nobody's wudu is going to be intact when a lion comes. Something is going to happen inevitably. But definitely, no. You have to save your life. And by refusing to save your life from a burning building or a collapsing building, or in the case of an earthquake, in, in insisting on continuing to pray, knowing that you will die, this is a form of is suicide.